St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Yes. Welcome to the celebration of this Eucharist. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from three donors. The first is an anonymous donor from DF, New Brunswick, in memory of the deceased members of her family and in thanksgiving for favors and benefits received. The second is Mrs. Margaret Ray and her son George and her daughter Hala from Montreal, Quebec, in memory of Abdallah on the fifth anniversary of his death, and Jeanette, Mary Reyes, John Tanus, Mary Butari, and Debbie Kniba in thanksgiving for all graces received. The third is Rose D'Souza from Christ the King Parish in Mississauga, Ontario, in memory of her husband Anthony Thomas D'Souza for the third anniversary, death anniversary, for souls in purgatory, for souls that are forsaken, and the welfare of the family, and peace in the world. On behalf of all of us, our thanks go out to these donors. Now, to celebrate this Eucharist more worthily, let us call to mind our sins and ask a God who is gracious and most merciful, slow to anger, to forgive us. You raise the dead to life in the spirit, Lord have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us now pray. Father of heaven and earth, hear our prayers and show us the way to peace in this world. We make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and governs with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. Whenever the Israelites made camp throughout their journey to the land promised by the Lord, Moses used to take the tent and pitch it outside the camp, far off from the camp. He called it the tent of meeting. And everyone who sought the Lord would go out to the tent of meeting, which was outside the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent, all the people would rise and stand, each of them, at the entrance of their tents, and watch Moses until he had gone into the tent. When Moses entered the tent, the pillar of cloud would descend and stand at the entrance of the tent, and the Lord would speak with Moses. When all the people saw the pillar of cloud standing at the entrance of the tent, all the people would rise and bow down, all of them at the entrance of their tent. Thus the Lord used to speak to Moses face to face, as one speaks to a friend. Then he would return to the camp, but his young assistant, Joshua, son of Nun, would not leave the tent. Early one morning, Moses rose and went up on the mountain, as the Lord had commanded him. The Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name, the Lord. The Lord passed before him and proclaimed, the Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for the thousandth generation, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, yet by no means clearing the guilty, 
but visiting the iniquity of the parents upon the children and the children's children to the third and the fourth generation. And Moses quickly bowed his head toward the earth and worshipped. He said, If now I have found favor in your sight, O Lord, I pray, let the Lord go with us. Although this is a stiff-necked people, pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us for your inheritance. Moses was there with the Lord forty days and forty nights. He neither ate bread nor drank water, and he wrote on the tablets the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. The word of the Lord. Oh. 